data quality assessment is an integral part of any data science project and in this brief video I'm going to introduce you to a brand new R package for well to, to get an overview of your data and with that data overview you can carry out a quality assessment and further processing it just sort of instead of going through a number of steps you can actually skim through your data to get a data overview and decide on your machine learning strategies and so forth and unsurprisingly the package is called skimmer first i read in library tidyverse i've run this there's an inbuilt data set that I'm going to use called Star Wars, dplyr Star Wars. I'm storing it in this variable, head Star Wars, and it pertains to the characteristics of the different Star Wars characters. And we have the library skimmer. So, you know, you can install it by saying skimmer. Since I installed it, I don't need it anymore. And the first thing you literally do with skimmer is you skim through your data. So it gives you an idea of, you know, so basically you have these different columns. It, it tells you the number of missing data entries, the completion rates, the unique entities, minimum length, maximum length. And this is for the, you know, the categorical variables. And again, for numerical variables, you get an idea of, the number of missing values so you automatically know you know how many of your values are missing and that's going to inform your data imputation strategies the completion rate the average values of your numerical variables so you know the average height is 174 the standard deviation and you even get a small histogram showing the distribution of your data so i can see that mass and birth here they are heavily right skewed and i can dig deeper to get A summary so basically you get an overview and you get data quality assessment all in one step and here yeah. now you get name star wars number of rows number of columns character list numeric you know how many columns are numeric how many are list types how many are character types there are no group variables but we can carry out grouping and that's exactly what i'm going to do now plier group by because hair color happened to be a categorical variable and then we can skim this data set So again, we see our grouping variable is Auburn, number of missing values, zero, the mean height, uh, the mean height of Auburn here is 150. And if people who have Auburn gray hair, the mean height is 180. So, you know, you can automatically get a sense of how your data are proceeding and again the same with birth here mass so basically the numerical variables have been categorized have been grouped according to hair color and we got the summary and we can even get skim with you know we can define other descriptors my skim star wars height and let's just so i defined a user defined function skim with numeric my skim star was height it tells me this is the height this is the percentile 75 percentile 100 percentile complete rate the average height and so on 
and the MAD values were not calculated but you know we could technically compute the MAD values as well the mean average deviation so this is a very robust package for assessing your data and carrying out and, and you know even obtaining a description of your data 